Hey everybody, I'm Richard and welcome back to West of Loathing. We left off just completing the soup mine mission, which was great. Oh yeah, and I was also trying to decide if I should take these things or not. Not the stewed snake, jeez. These things, the rum... Increases, like, meat, item and meat drops. I'm just worried that I won't be able to get more if I take them now and then I die. And can I eat that much stuff and have that many buffs? Guess it's worth a try. You gain the effect food cube. You eat f the food cube without any pleasure or sauce. Maybe you've tried some sauce. So is that food cube down here? Yeah, like, look at all that stuff. These are such good items. And they were at the soup thing, right? Drink the nearly flavorless rum. It could be worse. It could taste more like rum. Rum rummager. And then the seltzer. You press a button on the side of the flask, which makes a cap disappear, which is surprising and amazing. This allows you to drink the seltzer, which is also surprising and amazing. I'm sparkling now. But I must be buffed to the moon. I don't know what my stuff was before, but I'm going to assume this is good. I also... I need to figure out how to get safe cracking. I need to start buying, like, books when I find them and shit. And I need to start getting meat. I feel like I've had 4,900 meat for a long time. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the military cemetery. Was there anywhere else? I don't see anything else new. I already went to the Butterfield Ranch. Oh, yeah, that place. What's that? The Dutch Oven Mines. What was that for again? I think it was when I talked to the professor, wasn't it? He said to go to the Dutch Oven Mines. Let's just go there. Because this is main story stuff, the Breadwood stuff. A shot rings out and someone buzzes past your ear. As something past buzz buzzes past your ear. Quickly dive behind a rock just in case the two things are connected. Peering carefully, a rock. It's a hunter with old-fashioned matchlock rifle and a cloak. Distract him and escape. I don't like escaping. I'm going to fight him. I just hope he's not too strong. Because now I'm going to lose everything I got. Okay, good. He's not that strong. This should kill him. See ya. Because I'm so strong. I need to- I should go get more of that stuff and I could like super buff my character and never die again. That would be amazing. It would just suck for the times where, uh, if I need like a day to pass. I still don't have a foraging skill. After all this time. Wow, those are some stinky fishers at the Dutch oven mines. I can't get any closer now though some stench resistance. I got your back, bud. What is it, this one? Nope. Um... Sweet smelling flowers. I want to put my moxie back, though, when I get a chance. Glad I kept those flowers, though. Wait. I have stench resistance now. Ha! It's barely to tolerable. Alright, let's go in. Hello? How come every single mine has- can I get rid of these? Jeez. Loot them! Ooh, gas mask and miner's pants. What does this do? Jeez. It gives me stench resistance, but it puts down a bunch of stuff. Why? Why does it weaken me so? Grab what's left. No, I won't grab what's left. Okay, I need to stop playing with this stupid mouse, but I guess my keyboard's not working right now anyway. Nice. Aw, oh, spittoon. I don't know what kind of tobacco these miners are chewing, but it must be extra corrosive because this brass spittoon has a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath it where the spit leaked out. Although, oddly, it doesn't seem to be leaking now, and it's half full. I guess the miners plugged the hole with something. I want that something. Inspect it. It's a spittoon. It's disgusting. You can practically see the stink lines coming off it. Come on, let's not do this. Inspect it. Oh, jeez. Fine, okay. Crouch down and take a careful look at the filthy spittoon. The inside is blackened with years worth of stains. The death broth inside has a rainbow sheen like, ugh, oh, a parking lot oil spill. And occasionally a little bubble pops on the surface. The hell? You can actually feel a slight warmth radiating off of it from whatever dire chemical reaction is taking place in there. You realize you're holding your breath, not deliberately, but from the human's body's natural instinct for self-preservation. <laughs> Inhale. <sighs> Imagine someone made a big pot of chili con carne and left it under the porch. Three rats crawled in the pot, eat half the chili and then die. A week later, a family of cockroaches takes up residence among the writhing maggots. The cockroaches smoke thick black cigars, which they light with the tufts of burning, burning human hair. That is what it smells like. Lovely. 
Fortunately for you, the rainbow colored film on the surface of the liquid coats your hand as you plunge into the toxic stew, keeping it from being immediately dissolved down to the bone. The smell intensifies and your stomach prepares to hose the poison off of your arm with high pressure steam of vomit. Oh my god, <coughs> that's disgusting. Your fingers touch something on the bottom of the spittoon. Better pull it fast while you still have something to pull with. I got spit soaked pants. Pull the world's most disgusting pair of pants out of the spittoon and jump back as the hole in the spittoon's bottom, now unplugged, begins leaking the steaming filth. You are now the proud owner of the worst object I've ever paid to be think about. Narrowly defeating a leather bondage harness made from the skin of a clown. Adds armor and speed, but is that better than my current pants? Nope. I like the seven muscle. I'm so strong. Pry it open. Ooh. Dynamite's good. Empty cart. Yes. Hit the problem. You hit the elevator in all the right places. I love it. That's such an awesome perk. I do need to find lockpicks though, I want to go back to that place and get those sealed books because I feel like they can only be good things. Emerge from the elevator into a deeper shaft, by the light of your lantern you see an exposed meat veins on nearly every surface. It's unusual that there would be this much readily available meat left in a working mine. What were they digging for if not this? I don't know, but I know I'm going to get those meat veins. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh god, there's someone there. Um, thank you. Hello, sir. This guy's totally out of it. He's gibbering and drooling and doesn't even seem to see you. Put the El Vibrato headband on him. Put the headband on him and he blinks rapidly, shaking his head. Oh my goodness, where am I? Ah, I'm still in the mine, uninjured and hungry but not starving. So I can't have been here very long, perhaps a day. Good, good. Well, I must thank you, friend. Howdy, feeling better? I should say so. Thank you for outfitting me with this remarkable device. Don't mention it. What's your name? Murray Murray Morris, excavator of the unknown and purveyor of mysteries. Fancy, what brings you to the mine? Uh, why excavating the unknown for mysteries to purvey, of course. Or at least attempting to. I must admit that until you put this device on me, I was quite overcome. Overcome? Quite. I'm oversensitive to psychic e emanations. You see, always have been. As it happens, this curious little hole is absolutely overflowing with them, and they're none too friendly. I can tell you that for certain. It was risky business my coming down here, but I took the gamble and lost. It's a miraculous thing that you happened by when you did, my friend. We should both get out here as soon as possible. Good idea. I'd be, I've been staying in a town called Dirtwater. I guess I'm sending them back there. Uh, to the south. You could probably do some good business purveying mysteries there. Capital idea, then. I shall see you there. Cast his pack over his shoulder and leaves with a wave. See you later. That's the second person I've sent there, isn't it? Maybe I should go check to see what I'm sending them to do, because maybe it's something good. Pick the thing. Shovel's dulled and useless. There's a pit. Well, let's climb down. Ooh, that's a diamond. Uh, something emerald. I didn't read it. There are scratch marks on the wall. The scratch it is painted on in blood. The hair on the back of your neck stands up. Why is that hair painted on blood? As you get near the rocks, the voices in your head begin screaming too loudly to ignore it. You have to get out of this pit right now. Fine, fine. But I want... What's what's behind the rocks? Fine. Um, I want to go back to Dirtwater and see what's going on with those guys, and then I'll head up to the military cemetery. But why did I go to the Dutch oven mines in the first place? Oh, did I need that headband? Can I get it back? Maybe that's why oh, I'm an idiot. Hope I can get it. Hey, Murray's. Hey, you got my headband? Yes, I got it back. Hello again. Thank you for telling me about this town, my friend. It's marvelous location. That's two good turns you've done me. No, don't mention it. Speaking of which, here's your curious headband back. Fortune willing. I won't be needing it again. No more gambles like that for me. Why is it so dark in here? Where's all your merchandise? Let's see what you've got. Magician's pants. Uh, Mr. Callity. Item finding. Get more non-combat random encounters. I don't care for any of this stuff. Uh, do you have any missions? Why is it so dark in here? I'm a my friend. I sell mysteries. Ugh. Things that cannot be properly experienced in the cold light of day. Why not? Well, it wouldn't be for any fun. Okay. Uh, where's all your merchandise? In the lock case behind me, there's things that must be kept from prying eyes and unprepared minds. Thieving hands? Well, that goes without saying. Gotcha. Hey, bye, Marie. Didn't I send more than one person back here? That's why all these lots are available. I bet you could send a bunch of people here. 
Maybe I did only send- I could have swore that I sent more than one person back here. And obviously I didn't send someone here to open up a jail. So I guess that is the first. My bad. Sorry, Murray. Oh yeah, I haven't been here since I caught everyone. Because I'm so great. Alright, I'm going back to the Dutch oven mines. I need to put on my headband. Ooh, a circus. I'm gonna go there now. It's up near where I'm going anyway. This is a little weird. You didn't expect to find a circus all the way out here. There's basically nobody around for miles. There's a rodeo clown manning the ticket booth. Well, there hasn't actually been a rodeo since the cows came home. So I guess he's just a clown. Ugh, clowns. You not liking painted mans? They're so creepy. I forgot about Gary. So creepy. When I was little, my uncle would give me nightmares with the old stories about them. Yes, yes, old stories. Goblins are telling old stories too. Evil painted mans and evil fire cows far, far below. Always to fighting. Many wars. That's right. Uh, supposedly rodeo clowns dress up like that because the first rodeos were reenactments of those battles and it became a traditional thing. Interesting. Obviously not true, but interesting. These mans are these mans are just regular mans being painted mans from up here. Yeah, I know, it still creeps me out though. <laughs> My crazy horse, I was just staring at him for a second there. As so you approach, the clown puts on the basically cheerful facial expression that retail employees use when the last thing they want to deal with is a customer, but they're not allowed to say so. Welcome to Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling service sideshow, sir. Surface. Circus. How can I help you? I'd like to see the circus, please. I'd like to run away with the circus, please. Uh, you can't actually. Let's see the circus. Well, you came to the right place then. Hey, hey. But if you want to get inside, you'll need a ticket. And presumably you can sell me one? I certainly can. That's my job after all. For you, sir, I'll get 5,000 meat. Say what? Does it seem a bit high? I promise you, sir, at this price, it's real steel. Well, you got that right. Why is it so expensive? Well now, this is no podunk little traveling circus. We've got rides, games, food, and an amazing demonstration of knife throwing skills by none other than Barnaby Bob himself. Tell me more about the rides. I want to know about Barnaby Bob. The boss is a real master of knives. Let me tell you, he does this amazing stunt where he gets a volunteer from the audience up on stage. He throws a knife at them. He never misses his target. Does he hit them? Did you leave the part out where he puts an apple on their head or something? What? Oh, right, sure. This is not a good place. Or the rides. I suppose I should say ride. We haven't had a single grizzly merry-go-round accident since, uh, well, since we stopped turning it on. Games? We've got tons of them. Does three count as tons? Three is more like some. We got some of them. <laughs> Tell me about the food. We got your favorites. Popped corn, sarsaparilla with the fancy new bottle caps. And get this. Did you hear about that new thing a fella invented cotton candy? Yeah, I think I might have. Well, it's still patented, but we're pretty sure we'd figure out how it works, mostly, more or less. You aren't doing a very good job of selling me on this. Well, I, whatever do you mean? Attempt to hornswoggle the clown. Look, I'll drop the act. Do you, you don't know who I am, do you? Should I? Eagle Rogers, Bureau of the Traveling Entertainment Inspection. It's Bureau of... That's not a thing. Is that a thing? It's a thing. A very serious thing. And your ticket prices won't be encouraging note in my won't be an encouraging note in my reports. Well now, hold off, cheap. I was just joshing you. Come on. You know how clowns do. Mm-hmm. So what's the actual 500 meat? Damn it, I need my horn swoggling up. I'll be back. Can I put my horn swoggling up? Ha. I think it's time to do that. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> uh let's see the circus. Sell me one. Let me think about it some more. Wait. I can't horn swoggle him again? Let's see the circus? Really? I had that one chance? So I put it up for nothing. What happens if I say I want to run away with the circus? Hey, you're a little. Aren't you a little old for that? Sorry, we ain't hiring. Darn. Damn. Let's see the circus. Alright, I'll pay 500. Let me just stamp your hand for re-entry. There you go. Enjoy the show. What about my partner? Partners get him free. Well, isn't that great? Lucky him. So in the circus, actually, I guess it's more of a carnival, but let's not split hairs. And find it almost entirely deserted. There aren't more than a dozen other patrons besides yourself. There are a bunch of clowns around working at the booths and so on. More clowns than customers, which is a little unsettling. But at least the lines won't be very long. Main stage. Let's talk to this guy. This extremely muscular clown seems to be guarding the entrance for some sort of stage. The stage show ain't till later. When? Later. But when exactly? Later. Okay. Go ahead. Damn it. Well, let's test your aim. Take a closer look. Oh, take a closer look. 
Oh, fella, I think... I like to think I know a customer with a sharp eye and a quick hand when I see one. How'd you like to test your skill against a game of dexterity? What's the game? Shut up, timer. On the wall behind me, I've got a bunch of thick-skinned, under-inflated balloons for 10 meat. I'll own you a cheap, inaccurate pistol and a pile of badly made ammunition, for your goal is to pop as many of those balloons as you can before the pistol stops working. That's an usually honest sounding description. I've discovered making the challenge sound exactly as difficult as it is only makes people more determined to be the one who beats it. A surprise. I take it to Barney Bob's stage show, which is otherwise sold out. Ooh. I'll give it a shot. Um, shoot like a jaguar. Oh, well, B, looks like you win. Congratulations on the finest shooting I've seen in quite a long time. Uh, the show will be starting soon, so don't miss it. Cool. What's this? I want to take a closer look. Greetings, salutations, fellas. This is a game designed to test your intelligence and capacity for abstract thought, and, uh, well, if you care to try your luck, far be it to me to instruct you. What's the game? Simplest guessing game imaginable. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read all this. We're out of time. Uh, give it a whole lot. Say, that's not bad. Not enough to win the grand prize, but you deserve some recognition. I got a small plush owl. Does it do anything? Five spell damage, I guess. It's alright. Test your might. Ooh, I'm strong right now. I got a lot of boosts. I'll test this one. Huh. This game. Blah, blah, blah. I'll give it a shot. Uh, extremely hard. Ooh, I got a large plush bear. What's that do? More muscle, more melee. That's great. Have a balloon. Talk to clown. How much are they? Uh, 30 meat. What colors do you have? Oh, let's just take a look. Uh, red. They're all red. How do you make them float like that? Why, well, there's nothing to it. Heck, they all float around here. Ho, ho. Is that like a it reference? I'll take one. You got a balloon. Anything else for you? Uh, you tell me more about the circus? Uh, Rally of Morum Carnival, it's not supposed to be Harris. Hey, see what I said. What are your traveling plans? Oh, I don't want to read all that. Why is everyone working here? Clown, traditional, what do you call him? Rodeo, blah, blah, blah. It's this Barnaby Bob guy. Real famous showman. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to go to the show, and then we can end the episode. Sorry for going long. I just don't want to, you know, talk to him. I got a ticket. Wait, the guy just said the show's starting soon. This guy here said the show's talking soon. Not talking, starting. I guess I can't go in. What kind of bullshit is that? Read the sign. Condemned until further notes, we encourage anyone from suffering from horse bites to consult a doctor. Selling tickets to the sideshow. Pay entry to you in the wondrous, wondrous blah, blah, blah. Uh, what all do you have in there? Secrets, mysteries, things too weird to be... Freaks? Not just freaks. Gosh, how much does it cost? 300 meat. I'm spending all my meat here. Enter the sideshow tent. Uh, no thanks. There's a lot of food. Well, all I wanted to do was go to see Barnaby Bob's thing. But I guess I can't do that. But we're gonna leave it here anyway. Um, I hope I don't have to, like, sleep or something to see this show. Because this guy doesn't tell me. He just says it's later. And I don't have a wait option. So we're gonna, next episode, if, if no one tells me how to do that and I can't figure it out, we're gonna go back to Lost Dutch Oven Mine. Ugh, I can't talk. So I can go down there. I gotta remember to do that. Because I'm gonna forget, I know it. Actually, I'm just gonna go there. Because then I'll remember. Because I'll boot up the game and be there. Oh, I'm so burpy. I gotta stop eating dinner right before. And then if we can't figure out nothing there, we'll go to the military cemetery. But I have a ticket for that circus, so I'm gonna go back. I need to see the show. I feel like it's gonna get me something. I spent a lot of meat there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button. And I will see you next time. Bye! Most people have played this, probably played it way after the other one, is just remember him for the bad stuff and forget the one time that he was good. That kind of trumps everything and shows why he just being the way he was. I like country music. Is there a dad? I think that's him. William. <laughs>